Hi everybody, welcome back to another segment of Surgical Instrument of the Week. This week we wanted to talk about hypos and syringes. We wanted to compare and contrast that hypos come in different sizes, as you can see here. This is an example of an 18 gauge hypo, whereas this is an example of a 30 gauge hypo. When we say gauge, we're talking about the diameter of the needle itself. This here is an 18 gauge needle, whereas this is a 25 gauge needle. As we've mentioned previously, when we are injecting, we wanna be as delicate as possible with the tissue. This 18 gauge is seldom an appropriate choice for injecting, whereas it's a good option for drawing up medication. In contrast, this 25 gauge would be appropriate to inject. We also have to consider the length of the needle. As you can see, needles come in many different lengths. You want to be mindful of this when you're choosing what needle you're going to use for a particular area in the body. For example, a needle like this may be acceptable for injecting in the face, but you could not use it to object into the abdominal cavity. Notice this needle looks a little bit different from these needles here. That's because this is called a safety glide needle. It has a safety function on it so that when you're done injecting, you can push this forward and the tip of your needle is protected to avoid needle sticks. The next thing we wanted to talk about was syringes. You want your syringe size to as closely as possible match up to the amount of medication you're injecting. So if you're injecting one ml of a medication, you would not want to draw it up with a 20 ml syringe. Also notice all of these syringes here, they have what we call a lure lock tip. Lure lock tips easily match up so that your needle and your hypo are secure to each other. Remember, when we're talking about this part, we're talking about the hypodermic. When we're talking about this part, we're talking about the syringe. Many times people get the hypo and the syringe confused. 